What's good, everybody? What's good, everybody? It's your boy. Today, I think it's time for us to start a new series on the channel. We're going to be playing a game called RimWorld. I got it up right here. Basically, what's going on, we're going to start a colony. And we are going to try to die. Customer service. All right. I got a backstory, okay? So stay with me. We got three soldiers, all right? They can crash land onto this world. The first one, this dude named Harder, all right? Now, his childhood, he was a pickpocket, so he was stealing. But of course, in adulthood, he made his way to the army, but he wasn't really rocking with it, so he was AWOL. And one thing I like to do is when I make characters, I like to give them two good traits and then one, like, bad one. So it's like, you know, even. So he has Brawler, which means, like, he, he can't really use guns. But if he uses a melee weapon, he gonna be good. Then we got Nimble, so like he like, oh, he gonna be bobbing and weaving. But then we got Bloodlust, so if we don't keep him happy, he gonna do some crazy stuff. All right, then we got the the Sergeant. You know what I mean? So like, you already know he got trigger happy. He gonna be shooting nice, and he's a Sergeant, so he gotta be tough. But unfortunately, he's just like me. He got depression, so it's gonna be a little harder to make him happy. But once we get him happy, he ain't gonna stay like that. See, I was trying to find something. And then, of course, last but not least, we got Lil G, the only black, the only, you know. Nigger! So he was a child scientist, and he came into the combat engineering system. So his traits, he got fast learner, which means he's very smart. Hard worker, which means, like, when we got him, like, researching this stuff, he ain't gonna really mind. His bad trait, he's gay. All right, well, let's start, and let's see how this goes. Hopefully, we get some episodes going, and we don't just die on the first episode, because that would be sad. All right, I'm not gonna lie, I haven't played this game in a long time. So first things first, we got like some supplies right here. We might as well allow all of that. Give him the revolver. Give him the, rev you know what I mean? All right, first thing we gonna do, we gotta like set up the uh, priorities because everyone needs a job. So if they don't do their job, we're gonna die. All right, this seems about right right here. Next, let's build like the actual colony. <laughs> Since we only got three people right now, I like to start a little small. So this is going to be like the bedroom right here. All right, so these are the... Oh. All right, so these are going to be the bedrooms right here. So look, as you can see, they're over here build, picking stuff up. They're going to come over here and build the stuff that I need them to build. Now, if I'm going to be honest, uh, a lot of stuff happens in RimWorld. So I have... Like, let me see. As you can see, I have 346 hours in RimWorld. And I still low-key don't even know how to play. That's how big this game is. So, um... I think we're gonna just be arms dealers, honestly. We're just gonna be building weapons and stuff and then selling them off, and that's how we're gonna be getting our money, and then we're gonna be good. It ain't even funny. Now, why I start rhyming What the fuck's name? All right, so we're gonna speed this up, and while they're doing that, I think we're gonna go over here to orders, and we're just gonna start chopping these, these trees down, and then I'm gonna make a shack probably to put all of our belongings in, so, because people are gonna mess with us, people are gonna try and kill us, and they're gonna try and steal from us, so we gotta get get behind the ball before the ball gets in front of us. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Something like probably something like six by no nah, six by seven, cause two sixes together, like you just need one more, and that's the bad number. All right, so I'm gonna just let these guys do their thing, and while they're doing that, I should think about how I want this colony to be, because like when people come through, I'm trying to figure out if I want to be like a slave owner. You what? Or like a hospitable person, I'm like, all right, I'll just let y'all pass. Cause if I want to be a slave owner, I'll just take them and then make them do my will. And of course we're gonna need some power, so let's just start running the power conduits through. You know what I'm saying? And then once this gets through, uh, I'll start putting some electricity. All right, um, things look like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we even go, what do you think you're doing? Why are you not working? What you mean? He's getting the wood right now. Go, thank you. Go, go do your job. That's not what I told you to do. We just gonna give him some beds and they just want to sleep because they're stupid. So they're like, oh, we don't know how to put the wood in the damn generator to generate the power. I mean, honestly, we're, it's coming along. It's coming along. It's just my colonists are stupid. Yeah, I haven't played this game in a while. I forgot like how I'm supposed to go about this. I think I'm gonna start just building a kitchen and stuff because you run out of food really quickly for no reason. I'm playing on strive to survive mode right now, so like, they're not gonna hold my hand or nothing. And this is the world, by the way, so this blue thing right here is where our colony is. Now, there's people that can help us and can hurt us. This dude, like the people right here, like the reds and the stuff, 
and like the uh, greens, they're gonna hurt us. But the people over here, oh, they're gonna hurt us too. Oh, oh, all right, neutral. You see, the purples are neutral and the yellows are neutral. They're not gonna help us. But if we keep being nice to them, they just won't kill us, which is a win. I mean, kinda. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. We have to actually like make sure we don't die first. Now there's animals all over the place. Um, once I start getting a little comfortable with the surroundings, I'm gonna start hunting. And then after that, hold on, need colonist beds? <gasps> Did I not? Oh my goodness, they didn't make the freaking bed. Harder, what are you doing? So I think this right here is gonna be like the commons area where everybody just like hangs out. And then this right here, uh, okay, so like, this is gonna be like a little foyer area right here. See, look at me trying to be Mr. <laughs> look at me trying to be Mr. Architect over here. So this room, they gonna be cooking in this room. Let him cook! And then in this room, this is where they gonna like, slaughter the meat, you know? So like, cause you don't want like, the kitchen, and like the um, slaughtering area to be in the same place because after you get salmonella and then people start shipping. All right, this is starting to look like a little, kind of a kind of a little colony, a little bit, just a tad bit. And then I'm not gonna lie, this cougar right here is really like making me nervous because when cougars get hungry, they don't like just go for animals, they'll go for anything. So if I'm gonna be honest, uh, we might have to get rid of bro. We're gonna hide behind these rocks. We're gonna hide behind these rocks. So come over here. The cougar don't even know. Okay. Oh, harder. Get in. Get in. Harder, get in. You two guys need to go and help harder. Y'all, y'all can walk a little faster if y'all want to. I mean your friend's about to die. Alright, uh, do some tactics real quick. We have to meet him around the corner. Harder, come around here. Harder, come around here. Harder, come around here. Come harder, come around here. Cause, that, Cause I'm not gonna lie, cougars are really strong in this game. So like, oh, I didn't. No one told y'all. No one told y'all to speed up like that. Okay, 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 okay. Good looks, good looks. All right, first, first, first W, first W. Um, we have about a like two days before it rots. So I think I'm gonna start building the freezer now. All right, so we're gonna put this right there and that right there, and that'll just be this. This will be just, just the freezer area. But we don't have enough time. We gotta like, yeah, let's just start cutting some more stuff down. Okay, now we're gonna make the temperature set to a visitor. She is named Trobo Bear. She brought a few items to trade. Oh, he, she has unwavering loyalty. So that means even if we tried to like take her in as a slave, I know this will sound crazy, but bear with me. Take her in as a slave and then convert her to our side. If we did something like that, she still wouldn't rock with us like that for real. Cause she has unwavering loyalty to her clan. And I want Jimin, who's like the most, who's the best at talking? Jimenez is probably the best at talking. Go and trade with her. And then we could, Build like a a sheep wool tribal headdress. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. And then look. Then as a gift, if we give her 164 dollars, well, it's silver in this game. But I'm gonna just call it dollars. We'll get plus four towards like us being friends. And if we get to a certain number, we're just allies. So we'll offer her that. All right, and now our relations have changed. So we're good now. And then Jimenez, go put this on. Go put that on. So you can have better talking and stuff. And honestly, I think I'm gonna just end it right here. I don't wanna get too far into the game because like, for some reason, I used to have this problem where like, I would just play for hours and hours. And then like, I would try and like, edit it and I'd be like, I don't like to edit at all. <laughs> or do YouTube, so I would just quit. But now I'm, I'm looking at YouTube in a different way. Um, I'm starting to like it again. And I don't want to like overwhelm myself because I have school, work, boxing, you know. It's a lot going on. So we just going to end it right here. Um, if this does well, I'll just make this a series. And if y'all like it, 
Let me know or not. I'll catch y'all later. Goodbye.